is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, come on, tell vous We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So, well, we uh, appreciate your ground one problem with us. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I've done the gold Reports and all the softwares and all your books and read a generational thank you. you are, seminars, thank so you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, yeah, sir. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks. Whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up and having a great day, safe day. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Happy Thanksgiving. Let's make it a great one. You're traveling, please be safe. No drinking, driving. Everyone wants to see you come this Friday. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best to me, take action on your ideas. You have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon that idea, no manifestation, no results, and no reward. As Nike says, just do it. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 174, NASDAQ up 66, S&P's up 14 and a half. Gold, gold contract down $8.30, trading at 2013 an ounce. You have silver down 16 cents, $24.06 6 an ounce. Light sweet crude. Off 93 cents, $76.84 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, down three ticks, trading 108.26. The third year up seven at 115.27 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading up 345 ticks, 103.900. Euro at 108, yen at uh, 149, British pound at 124 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in y'all world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, it's been one straight shot, folks, and I don't think that's going to, you know, end until we get a little blow off here. So <laughs> uh, the bottom line is that, you know, we are at right now 455. We hit 456. 462 is the number. That's the A, a to B equals C to D. Now, that's a one-to-one, -one, but I suspect the way this is set up right now, this is set up pretty good that you can come in here Friday morning. Now, we're closed Friday. This is the only time that the market's open and that we do close so everyone can have a great, you know, long weekend. Uh, market's open from 9.30 to 1. I suspect you're going to see a run. They're going to they're gonna run this thing. You know, the, the top of the range here in the, the SPA is 459. So they'll run it to 459. 459 is going to be easy. I mean, we're at 454 right now. You know, we hit 456. I suspect, you know, that ABC is going to come into fruition. That's, that's how this thing is looking. You know, we take this and we put it back a little bit further. And what you're going to see here is that uh, as we get up to that level, now this is where this is going to get really interesting because what we, we very well can have is a very lo large ABC structure up. Now watch this, though. Look at how this is set up, man. Is this, I get this on a monthly right now, okay? And on a monthly... 1.3. You're going to be able to do it, man. We'll see how this shakes out. There's, a, there's enough volume that's in here that you could take that out. And if you take that out, oh, my God, that is a one monster ABC structure up. The cool thing is, is that you're going to know, you know, when we get up there, number one, can you take it out? Number two, do you have the volume on, on the monthly? And if you have the volume on the monthly, folks, okay, you know, once ABC start happening in the marketplace, um, they can basically trend and trend for a bit. And if that's what we get, you know, the bottom line is that that's where we're going. Microsoft, bottom line, you got the AI, Sam Altman's back in the big, big seat again. And you can see Microsoft. Microsoft's also in an ABC structure up, took out the B point, took it out with volume. Microsoft, no doubt, is the big winner in this. 
um, you know, the, the battle's probably just starting, but the bottom, bottom line, Microsoft is the big winner. And when you take a look at Microsoft, um, you know, that wants 412, and right now you're at 377. NVIDIA, let's go take a look at NVIDIA. You know, the bottom line, NVIDIA come out with numbers last night. NVIDIA's trading down $11. Monster numbers, man. I mean, look at this thing. You know, I brought this up yesterday, though, the, that the context of uh, the acceleration up, you can see it's going to slow a bit. You know, first quarter of this year, it took in $7 billion. Second quarter, 13. Third quarter yesterday, 18. Next one's only 19.5. That being said, guess what? At 18.1, which they took in, that is more than they took in in the full year of 2021. So you are talking monster numbers that just, you know, you, know, you, can, you can just actually keep going at that level. And that's about as, it's very profitable, let's put it that way. What we do have here is that you have a high, let me just see if this thing got tested. So you get, yeah, it did. So what you're going to have here is this. You're going to have... Let me put this on a weekly for a second. Oh, I see. Hold one second. Oh, this is going to get interesting. So even on the weekly, you got to do some math behind this thing because of the fact, yeah, it's still not, never going to do it. So you, you, you're going you're gonna to have a test of a high with light of volume, rejection of a higher price. That's what you're going to have. And it's probably just going to spin it into a consolidation for a longer period of time. That's how that thing looks. Now, the thing that's intriguing, of course, is that that being said, meaning that you do have uh, NVIDIA down, well, guess what? It didn't affect the NDX 100. Well, of course, it affected it price-wise for a bit. But the bottom line is it's still going higher. You know, you took out your swing point. You, you're over the swing point in a monster way right now. And then if we take a look at the NDX, the way this thing is set up, you know, the next, the next stop is the highs, man. That's, that's how this is set up. And what has happened just as I've brought up, you know, many times here, because of the, the last retracement, folks, okay, was a very small retracement in the context of how we went higher. It's a 0.382 retracement in the NDX 100, as well as the SPY. That is saying that you can have an ABC structure in the way up beyond belief. And in fact, it doesn't seem like, you know, we only did a, a 0.382 and that's because this has been going on for a year and a half, okay? So the first get-go was a 0.618 on the way down. You did the level up, you did a 0.382, but that's just showing that the market actually is building more strength as it's going higher. Let's go to the oil market and take a look at the oil market. So the oil market out here, this has been jumpy in a monster way. Uh, we take a look at oil out here today. Oil got down on a price point of 73. Right now you're at 76. We got 364,000 contracts. Now, that's a lot of contract volume that's, ba that's banging out here. Yeah, it definitely is. Let's just see this intraday here for a second. So intraday, it made it all the way back. That being said, you're building costs for lower price. That's how this day baby's set up. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks, and we come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now trading at buck, at buck 70. NASDAQ up to 67. S&P's up 14. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up more 175. NASDAQ up 69. SP is up 15 and a half. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at uh, what's moving. Point-wise, the Dow Industrials. Okay, so point-wise, we have is this: is that you got Microsoft putting 33 positive points, United Health uh, 28, uh, Home Depot 25, uh, Goldman 21. Taken away from it, the only one out there is Caterpillar. Uh, well, not the only one, but minus 22. You got Walmart uh, minus eight. You got Merck uh, minus five. We go into the. Uh, some of the higher volume equities out here, and the volume's not going to be high out here. You got uh, Apple, Apple's got up 83 cents. You got uh, Verizon, uh, Verizon's flat. You get uh, Walmart uh, basically down a couple bucks. Uh, Disney is up 47 cents. So let's talk about, I want to talk about uh, Friday. So if in fact you you know, we got this ABC structure up to the 462. And I mean, of course, I'm speculating that, you know, this run will continue on Friday. And I'm also speculating, though, that it'll be an extraordinary run Friday. Because the way this market has traded, number one, this is traded just like it did when I was in the middle of that expansion on a Friday after Thanksgiving, that no matter what you bought, folks, okay, it went up. And so if, in fact, that happens, I'm just going to give you a scenario of, of how it basically starts. What normally would happen is this, is that, you know, of course, you have the futures are going to be trading, right? You'll see the futures up a bit. But when it starts trending, right, so what it, it end up happening, when you start at, a good trend market, particularly, which we've been in a trending momentum market right now. So what tends to happen is this. You have bulls and bears, as you know, always do, right? Bottom line, you know, I don't blame the bears for, like, are you kidding me? I mean, I mean you've been listening to me long enough, man. I'm shot so many times, it's insane. Now, now this time, yeah, I've been long, okay? But the bottom line is that I understand both parts of it. So what tends to happen is that there's 
disbelief in the context that you can actually keep moving higher. So now let's go to Friday morning. So if I'm right in the context, what you're going to see is this. You're going to see the futures up a bit first. Then market opens, right? And little by little. So the, the way this shakes out, and this is how it can sustain itself also, right? Is that you start get buying coming in and you'll see the whole screen light up green. I mean, I'm talking about everything, okay? And then by about 10.30, quarter of 11, that's when the whole freaking world understands that, oh my God, this is just gonna run. Now, something that is in the mix here that was not in the mix as much is the machines. The machines, okay, bottom line, know what a trend is, know what a momentum market is, know, in two seconds flat. So the machines themselves are going to be basically pushing, pushing, pushing until they don't push anymore. Well, bottom line, we'll see how it shakes out, but that's, that's my take on how this is going to go. And as, the, as you get closer to the 1 o'clock, it'll accelerate even more. That's, that's, how, that's how this thing shook out. Now, what did happen, okay, so there's, there's that one. Now, now, I'll give you some of the bearish deals for the context of the following Monday. Because so what did happen there is that the, the market took off like a rocket ship. And I mean everything. It was, it was, it was one of the most unbelievable things I've ever, ever seen. And then Monday, guess what? You did open down dramatically. Now, that being said, you're only down for two days and came all the way back again. But if that's what we get, you know, if you are setting things up, you know, just keep that in mind also. Um, you know, in particular, if, in fact, you hit your ABC targets, you know, that's going to be helpful in the context that, okay, you know, we made the run. Is that what's going to happen? We're going to pull back. Now, that's on a shorter term basis. On the longer term basis, my take is that this run is going to be out here. And, and the reason is that, well, yeah, just let me, let me show you this for a second. Now, th this is where this gets really interesting. And I see this happen a lot. You see that the top headline, the top headline on Bloomberg is U.S. yields climb amid unraveling of the dovish Fed bets. Well, that's not real, man. That, whoever, they get a nerve that like even writing that thing, okay? Because I want to show you. I mean, who, who are we kidding? I, if we go to the 10-year, yields are not going up, man. <laughs> you, you go to the 10-year, you're down three ticks, okay? <laughs> that hasn't moved. You go to the 30-year, and the 30-year is up, meaning, you know, up on price, down on yield. So you really always got to be careful and the, the, there you go, six, six ticks. So, you know, I haven't flashed over to Bloomberg yet on that article, but that's the number one article. So you can see how, you, as traders, as investors, you really got to basically not glue your eye to what the news is. You know, you can look at that news for sure. But you can glue your eyes to the aspect, okay, where's the 10-year trading? Where's the 30-year trading? And... In the bigger context, when we go over to the 10 and the 30, you know, bottom line, the, the mortgage rate, folks, this is the fastest the mortgage rate came down in years, meaning that the 30-year mortgage. Now, it should because the 10-year came down a half a point. So the mortgage rate came down a half a point. That's how it goes. You know, bottom line is that we get back to, you know, three and a half on the... 10 year, well, great. You know, the mortgage rates are going to be basically, you know, 5.75 or something. And I suspect we're going to get there pretty quick. Why? Because you have the, the market itself. There's so much cash out here that the market itself is dictating where the rates are going. And, you know, when we were at zero rates, the same thing. They raised them up before the Fed raised them up. In this particular case, they're pushing them down before the Fed's pushing them down. And, that's it's the dog and the tail and that whole ball of wax. And then on top of that, it's about this dollar, you know, because as the rates get lower, it'll put more weakness inside the dollar. 
You get weakness inside the dollar. What does it do? Well, bottom line, when it opens up immediately, is that it opens up the world buying more American goods. You know, so there's always good and bad things, but the bottom line is that with the weaker the dollar gets, guess what? Then our goods are less expensive competitively worldwide, that goes up. What does that mean? That means companies make more money. What does that mean? That means the economy keeps going. That means that you do hit a soft landing. That's, that's how this thing is shaking out, man. Dow, Dow's up 183, Nasdaq's up 66, S&P's up 16 and a half. We'll come right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Dow Industrials right now are trading up 199. You get the Nasdaq up 72. S&Ps are up 18. And uh, don't forget, folks, okay, if you haven't test-driven the gold report, uh, great time to do it. You can come over to our website at TFNN. Uh, you're going to see it right under a featured content. You can test drive it. Uh, bottom line, um, you know, 30 days, absolutely free. Uh, gold, gold's on the run. That's that's the bottom line. Is that the then the gold equities are you know bottom line. What is intriguing is this. So if we take a look at it inside the GDX. Now I, we happen to own the GDX too. Um, you know that thing is slow, and it's slow because of the aspect that you have um, the Barrick 
and Newmont uh, basically constitute uh, 25 percent of the GDX. Okay. Uh, that being said, bottom line is that you get a lot of these uh, equities that are running, and they're they're running. You know, you know, you had precious wheat and precious metal yesterday, uh, and this is how you this is how this normally happens too, folks. It it's one by one. They start breaking the consolidation, and you can see Wheaton broke it, and broke it with volume, which is dynamite, man, particularly this week. You can see yesterday, it broke that whole consolidation. The consolidation we're talking about in Wheaton, too, goes back, uh, you know, basically six months. So that's a, that's a big number. And what Wheaton specifically does, okay, is that they are a, a, a silver broker. That's, they, they you know, th there's only 33 people work for them. They're taking 996 million a year. So you can see with 33 people, how the heck do you do that? Well, the bottom line is that they work almost like a streamer, uh, just a little different twist. What, what their twist is, is that they will come finance your mine, silver mine, this is, okay, that's what they're looking for, uh, and copper. They've been getting into copper. Uh, and then what they're doing, actually, they're, you know what's interesting? No, it's, they're, they're accelerating up. It's actually gold, too. Look at this. So, yeah. Yeah, this is interesting. So actually, they're brokering 529 million in gold, 471 in silver. Actually, it's bigger. Now the difference is is that the silver is growing by six percent a year. That's what they're doing. Uh, but the bottom line is that then what ends up happening is that then you agree that you are going to sell all your ore to Wheaton Minerals. That, that's how that's how this baby uh, shakes out. So check it out in the front page of TFNN. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of equities that are running out here. There, there's no doubt about it. And, you know, we'll see just how far this goes. When I take a look at the gold contract, my take is that we're actually on the way to 2,500. That's how this thing seems to be setting up. You take a look at it. We put this on a longer basis. What you're going to see, there's a very large A to B equals C to D, GC1, that's in place and has been in place for a long period of time. And the way everything is falling into place, put this back here. I'm going to put it on a 20-year right now so you can really see how this is laid out. You can see that we've consolidated for almost four years. That is power, man. That is real power. Look at this thing. I mean, that is very powerful. And if it's going to be the aspect of the 2500 what you do you're taking it from the lows the last low that was established out here in 2015 lows to the highs and then the pullback and you get in 2500 is not gonna, not going to be a stretch particularly because what is what has already happened you know we've already gone up like 300 bucks in you know what a month and a half you know you, you bring this back and 2,500 is not the same 2,500 that you were looking at in 2011. When folks with 2011 saying we're going to 2,500, I said, you're out of your mind, man. Um, because of the, the aspect that we had started at 252. Well, 252, you know, to 1,100, that, that's quite a move, you know. And it takes time. It takes a huge amount of time, huge amount of cause, and churning inside of the marketplace. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. That's, that's what it takes in order to get to higher price. Silver, let's go take a look at the silver market because silver, you know, still to this, the SI, let me see this, SI1, I'm do, do the, the volatility in silver is pretty intense. But we pull this up, and we take a look at the silver market, Bring this back 15 years, too. Yeah, see, this is not as powerful as gold, you know? Just not there. I mean, you know, yeah, and we, we, we went to that $49 mark before. You know, silver's going to have a trip just getting to the, you know, basically, yeah, the 30, the 30 level. And you're not, you're not going to go from 30 to 50. I mean, we break the 30 level. You're going to have a lot of flack that's, you know, running out of 35. But, hey, listen, man, 35 silver is still a big number. There's no two ways about that. And then the, 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 the key, of course, is that 
when folks do pile into a very small market and gold is a very gold and silver and metals in general folks are a tiny market and in, in comparison to the markets that we deal with every day meaning you know your equity market your bond market your commodity market in general okay there's not a lot of equities um, you know they're the aspect of uh, how much ore they can get out of the ground, what it's cost them to get out of the ground, and what the spread is. Uh, so you get one more acceleration inside the gold market, uh, meaning up to this 2200, you are going to see some of these gold equities go to the moon very quickly. The reason being is that the spread is getting dramatic right now in the context of what it costs them to get out of the ground versus what they're getting in the marketplace. You know, and when that happens, that's when you see the acceleration beyond belief. Like if you look at Harmony, we own Harmony too. You know, Harmony's killing it, man. I mean, you know, the bottom line is that you're at 525 right now. You take a look at this thing, and you know they have two different things going on. I mean, you know, the next the next move on Harmony is you know up at this, you know, basically 768 dollars. You know, you take that, you know, see, see how many, how many can get to like a, an 825 pretty easy? Is it 825? A uh, 670. No. Yeah, 825. Yeah. You know, then, you, then you're going to catch some flack. Let me bring this back actually a little bit more. Yeah, and then you'll catch, you, you'll catch some flack up there, man. But bottom line, that's a long way from where we are. And in Harmony's case, you know, they're banging out millions of ounces of gold. Um, you know, I mean, they're looking for an acceleration from 49 billion this year to 54 billion. Now, that, that's in Rand dollars, okay? So the bottom line, you have to uh, divide that by 18 and a half when you're, when you're taking a look at that. Yeah, we're at 18.8 right now. And what does happen is that, you know, you take a look at the Rand dollar, so they're paying their expenses in Rand dollars and they're getting paid in US dollars. Kind of a nice setup, particularly when you're talking about millions of ounces of gold. I'm talking about millions of ounces of gold per quarter also. Dow, Dow Industrials, right, they're gonna run this thing, man. <laughs> There's just no sellers. There's not, all the sellers are on vacation, folks. Either that or they're out of business right now. Dow's up 197, Nasdaq's up 73, S&P's up 17. Stay right there, folks, come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. 
a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials uh, traded up 195, NASDAQ up 69, S&P's up 17. You got to see this, folks. I want to show you uh, a, not only a bad trade, this is all about greed. Now, check this out. This is pretty amazing. This is an amazing story, actually. So... Uh, the name of the company is Envia. Now, they manufacture and process biomass fuel. Now, biomass fuel just means wood chips and wood pellets, okay? Uh, of course, the people that use it, they use it for power generation. They use it industrial customers, okay? And you can see the, the, the low for the year is 60 cents. The high for the year is $61, right? If we go into the gross revenues... What you're going to see, this is just a monster company, okay? Bottom line, this year they're going to do $1.3 billion. Well, listen what greed can get you folks, okay? What this company did was they bought, they, so, so picture. And, and, you, and you see, I remember the first company that I, um, I actually wasn't in the business then. Uh, I was still in the pizza business. But I remember reading in the Wall Street Journal that Procter & Gamble had done a trade um, the, the whole thing was they were talking about they did a trade in, in the foreign currency market. And the bottom line, the thing blew up and it cost them that at that time was probably just millions of dollars, not even hundreds of millions because we we're dealing with such smaller numbers. Well, guess what this company did? What this company did, folks, is that they bought and right at the highs, right? <laughs> this stock was trading at $90, folks, okay? And what they did, it's not like they didn't have enough pellets themselves, but they felt that they wanted to basically make more money. And so what they did is they bought their competitor. They didn't buy their competitor out. What they did, they bought the supply out, okay? So just a, 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 not a trade, okay? Bottom line, I will buy your supply for the next year, year and a half, okay? And I'm going to pay you so much money. Well, what ended up happening is that the wood chip business crashed. And this equity went from $90, and we just traded at 60 cents about two weeks ago. Now, this, this is how bad this is, okay? You talk about a bad trade. This business may go out of, this company may go out of business. They just came out with, you know, the financials, the whole ball of wax saying that, hey, it's possible we're going to go out of business. The thing that's amazing to me is, like, are you kidding me? Like, who the heck? Number one said, okay, let's do this trade. Now you can tell by the way that it is actually traded also is that if you know that the pellets are going down, you know, you and I, we always have stop losses, okay? But you can have a stop loss in the trading business in general. What you have to do, you just have to dump your product. Well, they didn't even dump the product, okay? So now you have a business that's been out there forever. One bad trade. And of course, it's a monster. And kaput. You know, it's, it's pretty amazing reading some of these stories. And I, I'd always, what, what blows my mind, I'd love to know, like, how do those executives actually even get to that point that you can make such a bet and it can go so bad, you know? And that, you know, it, we can go... 
write to Japan to uh, Sun, uh, you know, uh, basically a SoftBank. You know, the SoftBank deal uh, with WeWork and, you know, so the way that, so, what I don't understand about SoftBank actually is people have a very short memory. Because what had happened is this. I mean, he made his name because he funded Al Alibaba, okay? Billions and billions of dollars he made. And then he made one other big trade after that. He made, he made two in a row that made his name, okay? Now, that, that was done uh, 28 years ago, okay? I remember in the 2000 downdraft in the NASDAQ, he lost billions of dollars then. And yet, he could come back and raise hundreds of billions of dollars and then just blow his brains out, particularly. Because what, what ended up happening, when you read that story about WeWork, when you re read the story about how many companies that he actually gave money to in the Vision Fund, there's hundreds of them, hundreds of them that he gave hundreds of millions of dollars and now people are questioning it. Now they're, now they're questioning the aspect, because some of his quotes are really, <laughs> they're pretty cool, actually, uh, but not for investing. Um, his quote on entrepreneurs is that he would look them in the eye, and they, if they had a certain glisten in their eye, he had a gut feeling that they're really going to do it and make it in, in a monster way. <laughs> it's like, wow. So... Keep that in mind as you're starting businesses, okay? Because if folks like that can, can do that, each and every one of us could do whatever we want to do by being a little bit more sane. And, and this is where this comes in, there's no doubt about it, the arrogance. The arrogance of um, a couple monster trades can kill you. And I suspect that has to do, you know, inside of his texture, you know, about the aspect of how much was made in Alibaba. I forget what the other one was. There's a, there's a, the, he, had, he had a couple big winners. There's no doubt about that. But guess what? I mean, you need more than a couple big winners, okay? And, you know, you get the gist of it. It, it, it. We're in a business that is so intriguing because what can happen is that you can get a couple big, big winners and it's really about the consistency on a longer term basis or you know there's plenty of people that have got a couple big winners and they pack it right in i can give you you know the guy that owns um the raise the guy that owns the raise the bottom line you know young guy worked for goldman bottom line retired either at 28 or 32 you know something like that smart as a whip right did really well turned around put his money, you know, into a harder asset, meaning raise, development, all of that. Took his time, took years, okay? The bottom line is that, yeah, it's going to be a huge score now because he gets the 85 acres. He's got the development. It's one of the biggest developments that's going to be in the whole United States, right in St. Pete, actually right down the street from us, right down the street where, right in the same vicinity that I, I build. And that is the way to me, you know, that you really build the wealth, okay? It just, you know, if, you, if you're lucky enough to get the score, take your time, pull back, think it through, think it through what, what you can get as a steady, longer-term deal, and he did it, and it, it's pretty cool. I, you know, I, I watched, I've been watching him for 20 years now, Seven, no, 15 years. Um, and he pulled it off. And my speculation was, you've heard me say this before, he's going to pull it off anyway. Because if you can retire at uh, 28 to 32 from a Goldman, you know, you have something special. There's, there's no two ways about that. You have focus. Um, you know, you have discipline. Um, you have common sense, <laughs> which, you know, is really a big deal. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down, uh, down, uh, up. Everything's up. Dow up 193, Nasdaq up 70, S&P's up 17. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And, you know, in the Tigers, then one of our guys was saying, the, the Tigers were saying about the Mark Cuban. And there's no doubt, Mark Cuban, uh, bottom line, hit it big uh, with MicroStrategy. It was, I I think he had micro, micro solutions. He had micro solutions, but then broadcast.com was the big one. And there's no doubt he scored beyond belief there. Then it was slow and steady. And, and, and one of Cuban's, you know, quotes, man, which is really cool. And this is where you can see that, you know, I'm not quite sure whether he's, yeah, no, I mean, this is a humble quote. The bottom line is that he, he was saying, hey, listen, man, if I was born three years earlier or three years later, my, we wouldn't be having a conversation about me being a billionaire, you know, meaning in his take is that, yeah, you need to have the idea, but there's luck involved also. And then in the context after that, you got to do the right thing. Now, Cuban, now listen to this, man, this Cuban, he opened this um, prescription drug company a while ago, but this thing is getting traction, man. And it's getting traction because it's transparent. So we're going to be hearing a lot more about that uh, coming in the future also, meaning the aspect of everyone's trying to basically break the, the model that, you know, the middlemen, that's why I see United Health, uh, you know, make so much money uh, in the prescription drug business. Well, he's trying to do it, but my understanding is that he's really getting traction right now in companies basically bringing those drug costs down dramatically because the spread in, in drugs is insane. 
I mean, just absolutely insane. Now, now granted, yeah, you need money for research. I'm all for that, you know, because the bottom line is we know the acceleration goes up. But, you know, enough's enough, man. I mean, who's kidding who? You know, when they claim that they're only making a slight profit, well, guess what? By the time that thing goes through, it's, it's a lot more than that. Listen, folks, have a great Thanksgiving, a safe Thanksgiving. We won't be here Friday. Get back. Get ready for that run Friday, man. And always remember, folks, the man can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great Thanksgiving, a safe Thanksgiving, folks. We look forward to speaking to you right here next Monday. And don't forget about the Tiger's Den. All the Tigers and Tigers is going to be in the Tiger's Den, folks. Only a buck. Get in there and have a good time on Friday because everyone's going to be trading. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.